Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if the setting is enforced error you are coming across on your Google Chrome web browser. So if you are trying to modify the search engine or entering in a password or performing an, an action with an installed extension on your browser and you're coming across this error, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we are going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start by opening up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you are prompted with a user account control window, select yes. And now I'm going to have three commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. And the first one's going to be an R, D, and then there's a couple spaces in between. But just copy directly from my description. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it. Left click on edit and then paste it in. So again, just copy that from my description. And then you want to go paste it into this command prompt here. And there we go. Then you want to do the next one here. So we're just going to paste that in. And then finally, the last one's going to be a GP update and then space forward slash force. So you're going to just paste in all three here. Should update the policy. And once that's done, that should be about it. And there you go, guys. Honestly, once it says that the computer policy update has completed successfully, user policy update has completed successfully underneath of that, restart your system and then attempt to relaunch the Chrome browser and hopefully that issue should be resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.